Explore Tulsa? I know you got time for that. Well, hi. We're thrilled to have you with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. We kick off the show with a doggone good guy. Then we take a first look at a gathering place for Tulsa. Followed by learning what a garden truck is. Plus, we stop in at Tulsa's favorite spot to marvel. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. We're very happy to have you with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. Stevie, is your dog trained? By trained, if you mean that he knows how to chase a cat around the house and hide her ball under the couch, and yes, she is very well trained. Oh my, sounds like you could use the help of dog trainer Bob Gibson. Dogs, well, they're as important to me as right next to my children, okay? Okay, well I'm Bob Gibson, and I'm the owner of Bob Gibson Training Kennels. Been at it almost 60 years. All my life, basically, according to my mother, I had my first dog when I was three years old. I'd teach my dad's cattle how to ride, and horses how to ride, and all this and that, train horses. Then I went into the military. Well, I enjoyed animals. I've enjoyed animals all my life. And so when I got out of the military in, in 60, I uh, started setting it up as a business and letting private individuals know that I could train their animal. I first started out, didn't have a kennel. First one was to hide in the garage, then the second one come along, then the third one, and then I moved from there to South Garnett, 20 acres, and then from there to Leonard, Oklahoma, on 40 acres, set up my first kennel. My first kennel was 86 runs, I, and I kept anywhere from you know, 80 to 100 dogs in training at all times. We train all breeds still today for whatever, you know, the little bitty fellows, all the way up through the giant breeds, the deer hounds and the St. Bernards and the Great Danes. And they want them to be a good companion dog, obedience, and some of them want protection. We teach the dogs for police departments, you know, to be a dual purpose dog or a, a three-phase dog. You know, the tracking, the, the bite work, and, you know, scent discrimination, drugs or explosives or whatever. And we actually, you know, also teach uh, for diabetics and, and uh, ex-military people that having flashbacks or blackouts or, or, or seizures, the dog to detect that a seizure's coming on. I met him through a family reference. I got him three weeks ago from the animal shelter in Broken Arrow, and his name's Buddy. I have blackouts, uh, seizures, and flashbacks from Iraq. Within 10 hours of us having him, I went into a flashback and he he knew what was going on and he got in between me and my wife and got me out of the flashback. We went walking yesterday, day before yesterday, and he picked up on a sign and started pulling me back towards the house. And I got back towards the house and sat down, it was really weak, and he sat down right there in front of me and didn't move until I was able to get up and move on my own. Mainly what most people want is a good companion and protector or just a good companion, a dog that doesn't rear up on them, a dog that, that obeys them well that, and so on. The dog's looking for a leader. The dog doesn't have a leader. He gets very high strung, nervous, you know. Some dogs get aggressive, destructive, because the dog is unsure of what's expected of it, and the unsureness and it makes people the same way. My own personal dog, and I've had a lot of them over the years, and I've lost a few good ones due to age and whatever, but, uh, or medical problems, but uh, 
My dogs are very important to me. I have people call me all the time on one of my dogs for my breeding. My number one goal is a good home. That's number one. And my dogs are bred for high drive and competition. Most important is a good home, good care, and then they must learn how to handle and train their dogs. It must be the leader. I don't know how he does it. Those dogs do exactly what he asks them to. Well, I think he said something about they have to know which one of you is smartest. Hey, I can do any trick a dog can do. If you want your dog as well trained as Stevie is, visit BobGibsonTrainingKennelsInc.com. I wonder if the new gathering place in Tulsa is going to have a place where you can take your dogs and run around with Well, we could always ask when we meet the folks putting it all together. Next, when we return with more Explore Tulsa. At Video Revolution, our home entertainment experts have been designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use for over 30 years. From flat panel LED TVs to 4K projector systems, the top name brands are here at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to our business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. Video Revolution, Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge technology. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 clients to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa Best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. Hi, my name is Jimmy Jarman. I'm the owner of Wizards Asylum Comics and Games, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Hello again. It's good to have you back with us for more Explore Tulsa. Now, over the last few years, we've seen Tulsa at lightning speed to make all kinds of neat renovations. We sure have, and one of the newest is the upcoming Gathering Place for Tulsa, planned to break down next summer. But we're going to get a sneak peek by taking a look at the 23-foot scaled model recently unveiled. The primary mission of the George Kaiser Family Foundation is to break the intergenerational cycle of poverty. And that's what, that's what we do day in and day out through our edu you know, early education programs, um, our urban school district work at Tulsa Public Schools, um, our healthcare initiatives. Um, we have a part of our mission where we do civic enhancement, economic development, beautification, and arts investment. And that's where this kind of comes in. And these goals will help bring attraction to, the, uh, to, to Tulsa, will help companies recruit talent, help them keep talent. It will help us with our health and wellness within our community. So there's a lot of aspects of our mission that it touches, but it, but it, but it really will help all of Tulsa. George Kaiser always believed that Tulsa needed a central park, a central gathering place uh, for all of Tulsans. And um, he's always believed that the river is probably one of our largest untapped resources within the community. And Tulsa has had unbelievable success with river parks um, and the trails and uh, you know, the interconnectivity between all the suburbs and the, and the core part of the city. So building on that strength and building on kind of that unused asset, the Arkansas River, the idea was to, to buy some property and as it became available, we purchased it and then link it together and kind of make that large central park for Tulsa. The first piece of property that became available was the, the, the Blair property, um, which was owned by Dan Buford and Kay Buford. And that's the kind of the core part of the site. Um, and that's where the most activity has been planned. It's the largest amount. It has approximately 33 acres just in that one area. And so that's the heart of the site. And then phase one includes everything on the Blair property and everything west of Riverside Drive from that 26th street all the way to 31st. And then only on the west side of Riverside Drive from 31st to 33rd place. No, so that kind of gives you an idea of, of the scope of the project. The, 
the site has two major structures. It has a lodge building, which is the very first building that you'll see when you drive up to the site. Uh, it's made out of stacked stone. Um, inside, it's, it's uh, flagstone flooring, those big plate glass windows that really bring the trees and the park into the room. But it's got a really large community room where people can gather. It's got a large fireplace. You can put big fires in. It'll be open anytime the park is open, so it'll be a place for people to come and rest when it's hot or rest when it's cold, kind of get out of the elements. It'll serve as the main gateway into the park, so there'll be an entryway with a port of cashier where you can drop your kids or kind of integrate all that together. And you have food choices, healthy food choices, park food choices, uh, you know, grab and go snacks for the kids, but it'll be kind of a, a kind of a anything you need type of a, of a place. And then on the bottom floor, a place you can rent games, uh, you know, whether it's board games you can play out on the tables, or maybe it's croquet, or uh, maybe sailboats to, to float and uh, remote control sailboats for the pond, but it'll have activities, things you can uh, rent and take things away and play with in the park. Well, I think the enormity of the project and being adjacent to the Arkansas River is going to naturally make this a really big draw for our community, not just for the community itself, but the region and, and nationally. I mean, this park will be one of the largest parks built in the United States. It'll be one of the largest donations made by a private philanthropist to a green space if not the largest. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of attractive points to it. There'll be a lot of national media that will bring people to Tulsa, um, but it will be designed for almost everyone in all walks of life of Tulsans, whether you're a fisherman, whether you're a person who's got kids that wanna play, whether you're someone that just wants to take a stroll through a park and have beautiful landscape, there'll be something for everyone. And um, it's kind of a place of over a thousand different experiences. So it's a place for everyone in Tulsa. A gathering place for Tulsa. I wonder how they came up with that name. Hmm, uh, probably because it's going to be a great place for Tulsans to, you know, gather and enjoy the midtown landscape of T-Town. They could have just called it a great place to hang out or a cool yard you don't have to mow. You call it whatever you want, CB, but if you'd like to see the model for yourself or learn more about the project, visit agatheringplacefortulsa.com. I wonder if they'll let me have the model when they're done. That way I could build my train track around it and use it as my fairy garden. Fairy garden? Is this something else you've made up? No. Well, it's a kind of like, it's a, well, let's just let the people at the Garden Shrug next tell us all about fairy gardens when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. For a taste of Italy in Tulsa, may we recommend Tiamo. For 20 years, Tulsa diners have come to Tiamo for the very best in authentic Italian and Mediterranean dishes. With a dining room perfectly suited for single diners or groups and an incomparable menu, it's easy to see why Tiamo has been voted best Italian restaurant in Tulsa. Tiamo now with two locations, 61st and Sheridan, and our new downtown location on the northeast corner of 3rd and Cheyenne. Tiamo, fine dining at an affordable price. Have you noticed your vision seeming a little narrowed and blurry? Then you may be suffering from SDTV. Let the LED experts at Video Revolution help you see what you've been missing. Like the Samsung 1080p 50 inch LED for only $749. Or this Sony 60 inch 1080p LED for only $1499. Video Revolution at 71st and Lewis can help you find the perfect HD. And 3D prescription to custom fit your home entertainment needs. Hi, I'm Bill Rothrock. I'm John Rothrock. And, and we're, we're the guys, guys in the white hat, hat and, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. I can't tell you how excited we are that you decided to stick around for more Explore Tulsa. And although summer's almost over, this is one of the best times to start deciding what to do with your garden when fall arrives. I'll probably do the same thing I do every year. Yeah, what's that? Survival of the fittest. Whatever makes it through the winter gets to stick around next spring. Oh, Stevie, there's so much more you can do to keep your yard looking great all year round. And a great place to start is with the ladies at the Garden Shrug. Well, I think one of the things that we um, were searching for um, in a garden center was something that um, is not a box store. Gardening can be a very personal thing for a lot of people. There's a lot of effort that people will put into their gardens. They'll put memorable things into their gardens. So what we want to carry at the garden truck is something that's completely different than a big, huge uh, box store experience. My name is Marcy Smith, and um, I am one of the owners of the garden truck. The Garden Trug um, is a boutique garden center, if you will, in South Tulsa. 
before we opened up the garden truck in uh, 2010. There had not been any uh, new garden centers open up in the Tulsa area for over 20 years. We were looking at an opportunity kind of in our mid to late life in our career. We always wanted to um, pull something together that was related to the garden center industry. So um, we had an opportunity to pick up um, and lease this piece of property and create the garden truck. I'm Sue Welch. I'm the co-owner of the garden truck. Gardening is such an expanded uh, uh, capability now. It's not just going out in your garden, digging up a hole, planting a plant. It's outdoor living and people often cook outdoors or they bring in their garden vegetables to cook even indoors. So the food products that we supply are very nice quality, uh, ones you can't find everywhere, and people can use them in association with their outdoor living and gardening. We want to have something at each turn uh, for our, our guests to um, really have a nice, wonderful experience. We have people that come in all the time and say, I just need to be here so that I can decompress and relax and they'll just stroll through our shop. So we designed our shop so that around each curve you've got something that kind of pulls you around, very similar to a, a basic garden design um, when you're walking around someone's paths in their garden. So um, a very intimate experience is, is what we're looking for. We've been open nearly four years. Uh, it was a wonderful feeling. We really created this because we wanted to create a garden center that was complete and that was interesting and unique. One that we really would get excited about shopping at. So that's how we tailored this, every aspect from the ground up. The fairy garden trend is something that um, we actually didn't know about. About three weeks after we opened, one of our younger guests asked at the checkout, "Do you have? are you gonna have fairy gardens? We had no idea what that was, so we said, well, we're not sure, but we'll look it up. So, you know, you run out there and start, you know, searching on fairy gardens. And so we became enamored with it and began looking for vendors to bring it in. So fairy gardening is a trend across the country right now that is um, container gardens. So anything that you could have on a full scale in a landscape, be it an arbor, a bench, a swing, pathways, a small house, you can do on a completely different scale called fairy gardening. And you can even dedicate space in your landscape to create maybe a little fairy village. The neat part about it is if you want to move a house in a fairy garden, you pick it up and you move it. If you want to move an arbor, you just pick it up and move it. Although you can spend hours tweaking and tuning and, and gardening. It's almost kind of like a bonsai experience where you're working, but you're working in a very tight, controlled environment. When we opened the doors, it was very exciting. People were coming in and making comments about how we reminded them of other garden centers that were unique, either here or other places in the country, um, but that we were really special and they'd never seen anything like us before. Every day you make people happy. You know, they come in, sometimes they just stroll about. We wanted to create a feeling here, an experience, and making people happy, helping them relax, just making it a place they could walk through, feel happy, possibly find something to help them complete a project successfully, uh, but a place they would just enjoy. I think once people kind of look around Tulsa and look at what it has to offer, um, it's a really great place to live. So it's also a wonderful place to garden. I'm so glad that Sue and Marcy introduced me to those fairy gardens. Those little yards are so easy to mow. If you want to learn more about how to take care of your garden, visit thegardentruck.com. I'd like to learn how to get out of yard work altogether. A lot of people enjoy gardening, working the earth, and the peace that comes from having such a beautiful yard. You know, that kind of sounds like a superhero, straight out of the comic books, like Yard Man or Gardener God. Oh. Well, to find out if that actually exists, there is only one place to go. You're so right, Trish. To the Bad Cave. No, CB Wizard Asylum is next when we turn with more Explore Tulsa.
Since 1964, Guitar House of Tulsa is the player's choice. We provide excellent customer service and the best selection on guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, ukuleles, and amplifiers in Tulsa. Check out the latest products from PRS, Martin, Taylor, Spectre, Charvel, Takamini, Alvarez, Mesa Boogie, Orange, and many more. Open Monday through Saturday. Ask about our string instrument repair, 0% interest financing, and private lessons with the best instructions in Tulsa. Guitar House of Tulsa, we'll keep you strumming along. At Bitter Evolution, we've got today's 3D technology. Smart TVs. And I can help you pick the one that's a larger size TV. We handle it all here at Video Revolution. Now people can get a 90-inch TV. Oakland owned and operated. Now coming up on a 30-year anniversary. Customer service is our priority. We have our own service center. It just brings back enjoyment to watching TV. And now it's affordable for everybody. And we sell fun stuff. It's like toys for big kids. The customers that come into Video Revolution are blown away. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 claims to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa's best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. Hi, Ryan Woolard with the American Whitetail Authority Pro Series TV show, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. Superheroes of T-Town, we have united you all here today to further explore Tulsa. Wow, you must have read a lot of comic books as a kid, didn't you? You better believe it, and one of the best places right here in T-Town is to go for more of that action, Wizards Asylum. I collected when I was pretty young, just, just you know, pick them up, you know, just flea markets or whatever, just for fun, just to read, you know. Uh, Hulk was one of my favorites back then, Daredevil. And, but I, you know, I didn't do anything serious, just, you know, picked them up here and there. I got in, uh, in high school my freshman year and I, I met a buddy and he was, he was big into the comics. I mean, he had tons and, and knew everything about them. Well, we were both kind of, kind of jocks in school, we played football and stuff, and he was always, you know, anytime I'd bring up the comic books at school, he's like, shh, you know, don't, don't, you don't want to let anybody know that you read, you know, comics, you know, so thank goodness it's a lot cooler now than it was back then. But, uh, yeah, so he got me really collecting, you know, X-Men and, and doing it more serious. And uh, then as, you know, I went through high school, anytime I'd find a garage sale or anything, I'd buy the comics, uh, you know, whatever I could find, you know, 50 cents a quarter, you know, just just kept stockpiling them. Uh, I went to a, a store in Bartlesville all the time to get my regular comics, you know, once I started getting on or buying new stuff on a regular basis. Started out just because I, I wanted to find a cheaper way to buy my own comics. Uh, so I found a, a, a company that sold them online cheaper. And then uh, I did that out of my house for six months or so, you know, just, just, you know, tried to find, I, I found one customer basically that bought stuff from me. He ended up being my first customer when I opened the store and uh, my first employee. And it started out real small, basically a hundred square foot spot. I'd moved down to Muskogee from uh, Kansas. Uh, my mom lived down there and, uh, you know, I just got out of college, uh, went to college at K-State and went down there and uh, I borrowed a, uh, a gun from my mom's boyfriend and took it and pawned it without him knowing to get, get the money. I got 150 bucks and I went and rented a, a $50, cost me $50 a month for rent. And so I had $100 to work with and went from there. You know, I put my comics out for sale in there and, you know, got the, got the money back, in, the gun out of pawn and put it away. He never knew anything about it. Over, over the years, you know, I started off with sports cards and comics, and over the years I added some role-playing games, Dungeons & Dragons, and board games. Uh, and then uh, Magic came out in 93, and that really uh, took off. That's one we, we got, I got into real, just as soon as it came out. And it, it spread pretty quick, because, you know, back then I wasn't real busy, so I had a lot of time to just, people would come in and we'd just be playing all day, you know. Uh, and so the tables, we have a lot of tournaments and stuff, and, you know, Magic's gotten really, really big.
the, the Avengers was, was awesome. It's one, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, probably the one that impacted the comics the most was the original Batman movie. It picked things up a lot for the comics. And, and now every time a movie comes out, I see a little bit, uh, but not, not as much. Uh, Watchmen did really good. Watchmen brought a lot of people in uh, because of the, they had a tree, you know, the graphic novel that was so good. Uh, so it, it, it probably did the most recently. A lot of it's different, different things. It's who did the art, who appeared, like first appearances. And one, one of my uh, comics that I had for a long time was the first appearance of Wolverine. It is one that I, uh, I bought a long time ago and kept for a long time. You know, it's just, it, that's met the main part of it. First, you know, first Spider-Man's, first Wolverine, you know, early appearances of the, the characters is what really makes them collectible. My kids have been trading with Jimmy at Wizards for years, but I still don't know how Magic the Gathering works. Never fear, Stevie. You are still pretty good at playing Old Maid. You better believe it. We're a class champion. Visit wizardcomicsandgames.com to learn all about upcoming events and specials on your favorite comics. And don't touch that dial. The exciting conclusion of Explore Tulsa is yet to come. Looking for a new home entertainment experience? Well, hi, and welcome to Video Revolution. Tulsa's best in cutting-edge electronics. Professional, highly trained home entertainment experts. Video Revolution's been serving Tulsans for over 25 years. With name brands like Sony, Clips, Definitive Technology, Samsung, and so many more. Great selection, price match guarantee, custom installation, expert assistance, equals home entertainment success. See for yourself. The Video Revolution showroom features the largest selection of flat panel TVs in all of Oklahoma. Plus, the latest in 3D entertainment. Highly trained home entertainment experts on hand. Professional delivery, installation, and service after the sale. And the best selection of name brands. Visit us online at videorevolution.com and find out more about everything we have to offer. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hello, my name is Richard Hergill. I'm the uh, builder of this car, the Ariel Adam copy, and uh, we're looking at me on Explore Tulsa. Be sure to stop in next week when we meet Jerry Jacobson. Jerry's doing some exciting things for kids all over with World Baseball Outreach. We want to thank Bob Gibson and his four-legged friends for teaching us the finer points of dog training. Thanks, too, to everyone involved in continuing to make Tulsa beautiful with a gathering place for Tulsa. And to Sue and Marcy for doing the same with our own yards at the Garden Truck. And thanks, Jimmy Jarman, for keeping the world of comic book fantasy alive and well at Wizards Asylum. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for all your home entertainment needs. And we welcome Explore Tulsa's newest title sponsor, Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair for $99 deal with two locations, 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.